This may look like a children's dream, a room filled with dolls, toys and stuffed animals, but this is not a place you'd want your child to be. We're working really hard to make this the least intrusive, least difficult experience that a child would have. This is Child Help, a nonprofit advocacy center for children who've been sexually abused. Before advocacy centers came into being, a child would be pulled out of their classroom and interviewed or in the back of a police car or down at a Department of Children's Services office or even in the home where maybe the perpetrator is down the hall. Here, children can color during a forensic interview and sit under the sea during a medical exam. Doctors check head to toe so children don't feel the focus is on their, quote, private parts. They look for dust bunnies in their ears and nose and listen to their chest and squiggle their tummies and then they, um, then they do look at private parts but it's not invasive. It's not nearly as traumatic as people consider it to be. Just last year, 967 Knox County children came here for an evaluation. A team of experts decided roughly a third had in fact been abused. It's rarely a violent hold a child down kicking and screaming experience. I think if, if it were that way, then we'd have a lot more kids reporting it and you'd have more people believing it. But the thing that makes it hard to believe is when the child isn't afraid of their perpetrator, when they don't recoil at um, the perpetrator walking in the room because they love them, they know them, they feel good things towards that person. And that person has still broken the touching rules. Child Help Director Pamela Dickey says you can teach your child about those touching rules and about the difference between a secret and a surprise. Secrets hurt people. A surprise is what we bought Daddy for Father's Day, and he's going to open it up and be happy. A secret is usually something that we don't want people to know about, and if, if someone asks you to keep a secret, then they're breaking some rules. Most of all, she says it's important to let your child know he or she is not to blame. If everyone around them says, I'm so sorry this happened to you, I wish I'd known sooner to stop it, we're going to keep you safe from here on, I believe you, kids do beautifully. They're not ruined. They're not damaged goods if we don't give them the message that they are.